Morning guys, it's about 7 a.m. About 36 degrees. Looks like the skies are clearing up. It was icy this morning when I woke up. Uh, let's see here. Well, let's get started with an unboxing. You guys like my new hat? I'll leave a link down in the description. They're pretty awesome and they got a bunch of different colors. All right, let's start with an unboxing. All right, big, bigger box today. What could it be? It's about 30 bucks on Amazon. Ridiculous amount of packaging for something so small. Huh. It's in a military color. That's pretty funny. You guys know what this is? I'm sure you're going to figure it out. It's actually pretty heavy duty. I thought it would be more flimsy for the price. A uh, locking bar for the file cabinet. I'm tired of the uh, plastic flimsy flimsy things that we've got on there. Do they work? Oh yeah, they work just fine. But this is just something fun that I wanted to add to the shelter. So this will be one of the installs today. The other thing I want to do. What the heck is this? Uh, I think it's just more hardware. Oh yeah, it's the locking bar. Um, the other thing I want to do you guys remember in the in the last in the last episode this little guy uh, temperature outdoor temperature and then I have a bunch of uh, speaker wire to extend the temperature bulb out if I need to so we'll be working on that today as well I think there was one more thing I was going to do, but I forgot what it was. Maybe I'll include it in the video and maybe not. Anyhow, let's get started. One thing I wanted to point out to you guys is that you see the voltmeter. This is something that's never happened before. Uh, I have the um, 24 volt, 2.5 amp charger plugged in all night. And normally you'd come out and it would say like 12.2 to 12.5 volts. Which means that the 24 volt charger saw 24 volts as fully charged on the 24 volt side of the batteries. But the 12 volt side would never get fully charged. The battery equalizer is making an exception to that. So it's actually doing what it's supposed to be doing which is kind of neat. I've never seen this before. It's never done a full charge like this on both sides of the battery banks. So I'm pretty pleased with that $125 investment. Aside from that, it's 35 degrees out here and uh, we're gonna get started on this cabinet.
All right, guys, I got that all wired in. It works, I tested it while I was doing the uh, never ending wiring there. I ran the temperature bulb under the grill uh, on the front of the truck. I'll show you this, it's pretty neat. It's got a little alarm on it, it says it's 37 degrees out right now, it seems to be pretty accurate. And uh, there's a couple buttons on the back where you can set the high and low. So that's pretty neat. Not a bad deal for uh, eight bucks. I um, I used 3M uh, super sticky tape to just mount it under the monitor, which worked out pretty good, and then tied it into the monitor power right here so I can turn it on and off at will to look at it. Maybe it gets too bright at night, but I doubt it will, so. Matches this gauge pretty nice, which is kind of cool. All right, one other thing I want to show you guys. Hold on a sec here. Continuing on the uh, Subaru parts theme, I was digging through these uh, these drawers or when I, when I took my uh, 05 STI apart. There's just a bunch of parts, random parts in there. And uh, I was going through my drawers here looking at what I had in them and Look at that. What do you suppose that would work good for? I have my doubts that this is going to work. You know, everything else seems to work pretty good from Subaru parts, but not quite sure about this one. So I'm going to have to move the truck around, tilt the cab, and then we'll go from there. springs here I'm wondering if the spring I have will replace it or at least replace the center one so it pulls back harder and the uh, throttle cable returns where it's supposed to instead of getting stuck on the last quarter inch Let's give it a shot here check this out <coughs> All I did is add it to the center, so now there's three springs on there, and uh, it definitely returns it back to where it's supposed to go, so. Another free mod with a Subaru part, pretty neat. episode if you found this information valuable and you had a little bit of fun with me on this journey today give me a thumbs up hit like subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time see you later bye bye